CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 4 Simple Equations Page 77 4.1 a mind reading game. The teacher has said that she would be starting a new chapter in mathematics and it is going to be simple equations. Appu, Sarita, and Amina have revised what they learnt in algebra chapter in class 6. Have you? Appu, Sarita, and Amina are excited because they have constructed a game which they call Mind Reader, and they want to present it to the whole class. The teacher appreciates their enthusiasm and invites them to present their game. Amina begins. She asks Sara to think of a number, multiply it by 4, and add 5 to the product. Then she asks Sara to tell the result. She says it is 65. Amina instantly declares that the number Sara had thought of is 15. Sara nods. The whole class, including Sara, is surprised. It is Appu's turn now. He asks Balu to think of a number. Multiply it by 10 and subtract 20 from the product. He then asks Balu what his result is. Balu says it is 50. Appu immediately tells the number thought by Balu. It is 7. Balu confirms it. Everybody wants to know how the mind reader presented by Appu, Sarita and Amina works. Can you see how it works? After studying this chapter and chapter 12, you will very well know how the game works. 4.2 Setting up of an equation let us take Amina's example. Amina asks Sara to think of a number. Amina does not know the number. For her, it could be anything. One, two, three, all the way up to eleven, and all the way up to hundred, and so on. Let us denote this unknown number by a letter, say X. You may use Y or T or some other letter in place of X. It does not matter which letter we use to denote the unknown number Sara has thought of. When Sara multiplies the number by 4, she gets 4X. She then adds 5 to the product, which gives 4x plus 5. The value of 4x plus 5 depends on the value of x. Thus, if x is equal to 1, 4x plus 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 plus 5, which is equal to 9. This means that if Sara had 1 in her mind, her result would have been 9. Similarly, if she thought of 5, then 4x is equal to 5, 4x plus 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 5 plus 5, which is equal to 25. Thus, if Sara had chosen 5, the result would have been 25. Page 78 To find the number thought by Sara, 
Let us work backward from her answer 65. We have to find x such that 4x plus 5 is equal to 65. That's equation 4.1. Solution to the equation will give us the number which Sara held in her mind. Let us similarly look at Appu's example. Let us call the number Balu chose as y. Appu asks Balu to multiply the number by 10 and subtract 20 from the product. That is, from y. Balu first gets 10y and from there 10y minus 20. The result is known to be 50. Therefore, 10y minus 20 is equal to 50. That's equation number 4.2. The solution of this equation will give us the number Balu had thought of. 4.3 Review of what we know. Note 4.1 and 4.2 are equations. Let us recall what we learnt about equations in class 6. An equation is a condition on a variable. In equation 4.1, the variable is x. In equation 4.2, the variable is y. The word variable means something that can vary, that is, change. A variable takes on different numerical values. Its value is not fixed. Variables are denoted usually by letters of the alphabets, such as X, Y, Z, L, M, N, P, etc. From variables, we form expressions. The expressions are formed by performing operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on the variables. From x, we formed the expression 4x plus 5. For this, first we multiplied x by 4 and then added 5 to the product. Similarly, from y, we formed the expression 10y minus 20. For this, we multiplied y by 10 and then subtracted 20 from the product. All these are examples of expressions. The value of an expression thus formed depends upon the chosen value of the variable. As we have already seen, when x is equal to 1, 4x plus 5 is equal to 9. When x is equal to 5, 4x plus 5 is equal to 25. Similarly, when x is equal to 15, 4x plus 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 15 plus 5, which is equal to 65. When x is equal to 0, 4x plus 5 is equal to 4 multiplied by 0 plus 5, which is equal to 5, and so on. Equation 4.1 is a condition on the variable x. It states that the value of the expression 4x plus 5 is 65. The condition is satisfied when x is equal to 15. It is the solution to the equation 4x plus 5 is equal to 65.
when x is equal to 5, 4x plus 5 is equal to 25 and not 65. Thus, x is equal to 5 is not a solution to the equation. Similarly, x is equal to 0 is not a solution to the equation. No value of x other than 15 satisfies the condition 4x plus 5 is equal to 65. Try these. The value of the expression 10y minus 20 depends on the value of y. Verify this by giving 5 different values to y and finding for each y the value of 10y minus 20. From the different values of 10y minus 20 you obtain, do you see a solution to 10y minus 20 is equal to 50? If there is no solution, try giving more values to y and find whether the condition 10y minus 20 is equal to 50 is met. Page 79 4.4 What equation is? In an equation, there is always an equality sign. The equality sign shows that the value of the expression to the left of the sign, that is, the left hand side or LHS, is equal to the value of the expression to the right of the sign, that is, the right hand side or RHS. In equation 4.1, the LHS is 4x plus 5 and the RHS is 65. In equation 4.2, the LHS is 10y minus 20 and the RHS is 50. If there is some sign other than the equality sign between the LHS and the RHS, it is not an equation. Thus, 4x plus 5 is greater than 65 is not an equation. It says that the value of 4x plus 5 is greater than 65. Similarly, 4x plus 5 is less than 65 is not an equation. It says that the value of 4x plus 5 is smaller than 65. In equations, we often find that the RHS is just a number. In equation 4.1, it is 65. And in equation 4.2, it is 50. But this need not be always so. The RHS of an equation may be an expression containing the variable. For example, the equation 4x plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 25 has the expression 4x plus 5 on the left and 6x minus 25 on the right of the equality sign. In short, an equation is a condition on a variable. The condition is that two expressions should have equal value. Note that at least one of the two expressions must contain the variable. We also note a simple and useful property of equations. The equation 4x plus 5 is equal to 65 
is the same as 65 is equal to 4x plus 5. Similarly, the equation 6x minus 25 is equal to 4x plus 5 is the same as 4x plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 25. An equation remains the same when the expressions on the left and on the right are interchanged. This property is often useful in solving equations. Example 1. Write the following statements in the form of equations. 1. The sum of 3 times x and 11 is 32. 2. If you subtract 5 from 6 times a number, you get 7. 3. One fourth of m is 3 more than 7. 4. One third of a number plus 5 is 8. Solution 1. 3 times x is 3x. Sum of 3x and 11 is 3x plus 11. The sum is 32. The equation is 3x plus 11 is equal to 32. 2. Let us say the number is z. z multiplied by 6 is 6z. Subtracting 5 from 6z, one gets 6z minus 5. The result is 7. The equation is 6z minus 5 is equal to 7. Page 80. 3. One fourth of m is m upon 4. It is greater than 7 by 3. This means the difference m upon 4 minus 7 is 3. The equation is m upon 4 minus 7 is equal to 3. 4. Take the number to be n. One third of n is n upon 3. This one third plus 5 is n upon 3 plus 5. It is 8. The equation is n upon 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Example 2. Convert the following equations in statement form. 1 x minus 5 is equal to 9. 2. 5p is equal to 20. 3. 3n plus 7 is equal to 1. 4. m upon 5 minus 2 is equal to 6. Solution 1. Taking away 5 from x gives 9. 2. 5 times a number p is 20. 3. Add 7 to 3 times n to get 1. 4. You get 6 when you subtract 2 from 1 fifth of a number m. What is important to note is that for a given equation, not just one, but many statement forms can be given. For example, for equation 1 above, you can say, subtract 5 from x, you get 9. Or, 
the number x is 5 more than 9 or the number x is greater by 5 than 9 or the difference between x and 5 is 9 and so on try these write at least one other form for each equation 2 3 and 4 example 3 consider the following situation raju's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times raju's age raju's father is 44 years old set up an equation to find raju's age solution we do not know raju's age let us take it to be y years three times raju's age is three y years raju's father's age is five years more than three y that is raju's father is three y plus five years old it is also given that raju's father is 44 years old therefore 3y plus 5 is equal to 44 equation 4.3 this is an equation in y it will give raju's age when solved Example 4. A shopkeeper sells mangoes in two types of boxes, one small and one large. A large box contains as many as eight small boxes plus four loose mangoes. Set up an equation which gives the number of mangoes in each small box the number of mangoes in a large box is given to be 100 solution let a small box contain m mangoes a large box contains four more than eight times m that is 8m plus 4 mangoes but this is given to be 100 thus 8m plus 4 is equal to 100 equation 4.4 .4. you can get the number of mangoes in a small box by solving this equation you were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.